Welcome to this video. I want to talk about this article from PCWorld.com that says, no, you don't need a VPN unless you are falling into these four exceptions. I want to talk about this, my agreements, disagreements, and whether or not you should or should not be using a VPN. The four exceptions they list are if you're trying to get around geofencing, you're using public Wi-Fi, you're trying to get around censorship, or you're on a network managed by an employer or a school. Right out of the gate, I do want to note on this fourth one, if you're doing this, and it even states it here, that's the foolish thing to do. Do not ever, ever, ever do personal things on a network that you do not personally own. If you're at work or using a device owned by your employer, you do work things. If you're at school, either on a device owned by the school or a network managed by the school, you do school things. You do personal things at home or at other locations that are not managed by your employer or the school. As far as the other three, sure, geofencing, VPNs can help with that, but I'll also note that depending on what you're trying to access, they may detect that you're using a VPN and may not allow access at all. If you are using public Wi-Fi, yes, you absolutely need to use a VPN, but I also want to mention that I do not recommend in general that you use public networks. I do understand that if public Wi-Fi is the absolute only option you have to connect to the internet, okay, I understand that. For sure, 100% use a good VPN in that situation. And yes, there might be some edge situations where using public networks is more private or secure than using a private owned network, depending on what you're doing. But those are rare situations. In general, I don't recommend you use public Wi-Fi. There's too much room for error. Things can go wrong. Human error happens. And I also want to note that VPN VPNs do not make you anonymous, and the argument that PC World is making is that websites use a lot more encryption than they used to, and they believe that that is satisfactory as far as privacy and safety. I actually disagree. I think that people should use a VPN daily. It is true that it does not make you anonymous, and a VPN is more of a security tool than a privacy tool, but there is value in not letting your internet service provider see everything that you're doing. There is value in hiding your IP address from websites you go to, even though there are other tactics of tracking such as fingerprinting, it's still a precaution worth taking. And I also want to note that there's a lot of bad marketing around VPNs. VPNs started to become very popular in the late 2010s going into the 2020s, and they've been marketed as this tool that makes you invincible on the internet, and that's just not the truth. Again, they do not make you anonymous, they will not make you invincible against hackers or malware, but they are still legitimate tools that you should use, and you also want to make sure that you're using a good VPN. There's a lot of VPNs out there that could be honeypots. There's a lot of VPNs out there that will just mine your data. So all you've done is shift from your internet service provider mining your data to the VPNs doing it. The only four VPNs you should ever consider are Movad VPN, iVPN, Proton VPN, or Windscribe. And I mean it when I say these are the only four that you should consider. We've seen it time and time again where VPNs fail to keep their users private. We've seen it time and time again where VPNs originally appeared to be a good reputable company and then turn out not to be the case. And so by using a bad VPN, you could find yourself in a worse situation than if you didn't use one at all. So to answer the question, should you use a VPN in general? Yes, I still would recommend that you use one as long as it's a good one. One of the four that I mentioned, use it daily on all of your devices, but also keep in mind that you need to make sure that you're also following other privacy and security procedures because again, a VPN does not make you invincible. And if you're making bad decisions, being reckless, it's not going to benefit you. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit the join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.